everyone, it's time for our Friday Smoochie Bites. And today the topic is food and illnesses. One of our clients asked us if the dogs can get certain illnesses such as diabetes. And I thought we could just have a little general discussion about food and then also if animals can actually get particular diseases. Yes. So um, firstly, let's, we can start with the food. Um, I mean, picking your brand of food for your pet is extremely, extremely important. Um, you know, you really need to be careful what sort of foods that you're feeding your pet. Um, you know, it's not saying that the supermarket brands are technically bad, but they just not, they don't have the nutritional makeup often that, you know, is required by each pet. So, I mean, for example, if you have a giant breed dog or a giant breed puppy specifically, um, the protein makeup and the composition of the nutrients that are in that food are extremely important. Otherwise, what can happen, you can end up with a dog that starts developing arthritis really early on, you know, you, don't, you battle to kind of maintain their weight or, you know, there's also foods that kind of treat ailments. So there would be foods for dogs, as you said, that have diabetes that would assist with that condition. That's the vet type food. Yes, right? yeah. So, so you get prescription food by the Exactly. Um, and they really are amazing. I mean, they've got foods now that can help your kind of older dogs that have really bad joint problems. And there's food for dogs that have food allergies. Um, you know, dogs that develop really extreme eczema on their body. Um, so low really fat. there's, yeah, there's low fat, there's um, even foods that are, there's a food that's a metabolic food for dogs that a normal low fat food doesn't really assist with anymore um, and that really just kind of reverses their metabolism completely and helps them lose weight and, you know, to prevent things like diabetes and stuff from becoming an issue. So dogs can get diabetes, um, which is, which mm. is, it is manageable food right that's what I'm hearing yes. you say yeah so obviously I mean you'd have to speak to your vet to find the best um, kind of treatment and process for your pet um, often I think that they would probably prescribe medication as well as the food that would help manage mm -hmm. the condition yeah. yes okay that's interesting the um, the other thing I wanted to say is how important how would I know so I have Yorkies and maybe I have a Labrador how would I know what food do, what is important for my Yorkies versus what's important for my Labrador Perfect. So um, that's actually a really good question. Um, with Yorkies specifically, they have very small mouths. Um, so what often happens, you, it's very important to find a kibble that actually is comfortable for them to eat um, and actually helps polish the teeth because teeth problems and mouth problems in really small dogs yes. is a very common Prevalent, issue. expensive to fix, Exactly. Me. <laughs> and often your Yorkies, you know, you want a food that's also going to help kind of nourish their coat and, you know, kind of really be catered to what makes them specific to their breed, which is their long coats, it's the small mouths, you know, it's that kind of ideal cuteness that you want to kind of maintain. Um, whereas with the Labrador, you want something that's not going to be too high in fat because they are prone to putting on weight. Um, you want something that will support their joints because they're obviously now moving towards a larger breed dog. Um, and obviously, the Labradors, they aren't as taste orientated as Yorkies. Oh, really? Yes. So Labradors obviously will eat pretty much anything, whether it be food or not. Um, <laughs> and Yorkies are very, they're very picky, you know, they're almost like cats that their palate is very, very sensitive. I know. Yeah. I'm a Yorkie mom. <laughs> yes. So that's, that's, it's important to read. In other words, it's important to actually maybe go Google or maybe just find out and mm. understand what kind of breed you have and what food goes with yes. that particular breed. And a lot of the brands do have breed specific food. You know, they've done the research for us. Um, you know, they've done the tests for us to find out what works best for Yorkies, what works best for a Labrador or a German Shepherd. And they'll often uh, recommend a breed specific food because it has everything 90% of the time that you would need for your pet. Thanks, Meg. That was interesting. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And if you have anything you want us to cover, anything interesting, anything, just a question, please put your comments below. Have a great day and have a great weekend. Thanks, everyone. Bye.